Hi everyone, it's Randy. Um, so I thought today that I would do my March update, uh, even though it's technically April, but I'll show you what I did in March. And um, I have a haul from the stuff that I got in March. Um, so I'll do my haul at the end, so in case you don't you know, want to stick around for the haul, you won't have to. Um, but I just want to say happy spring to everybody. Can you believe some, uh, summer, I wish, <laughs> winter is finally over. Um, so if you're here in the Northeast, like I am, you are more than happy to say goodbye to winter, even though it doesn't feel like winter has gone anywhere. It's still really cold here, but we did hit 60 today for the first time in probably since October or November, I'm guessing. Um, so it's, it's coming. We're slowly but surely it will be here. So um, let's jump into my whip. So I'll show you what I worked on. I worked on quite a bit um, this month, so I'll show you my progress. So I did have a start and a finish. Um, I participated in the um, Cross Stitch It's Fun St. Patrick's Day sale, and I chose to do a Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery Pen Pal. Um, they're releasing these throughout the month. They're not saying when, they're just kind of popping up. Uh, there was the first one that I actually got, I'll show that to you in my haul, that was released in January, but it was just released for the Nashville trade show. And then if you went there, like, you know, um, if you were an online seller, like Stitch, I got mine from Stitch and Bits and Bobs. So if they went there, they were given some to sell. So I bought it off their website. Then um, there was a Valentine's Day one that I showed in my last video that I haven't done yet. And then there was a St. Patrick's Day one that came out this past month. And it's very cute. And I am Irish, so um, I just wanted to work on this. Um, I changed it up a little bit. Um, I didn't have this clinic and I couldn't find it. Um, so I did a lighter clinic that I had on hand. And then I stitched the border with Mohs Silk Irish Proud, which I thought was appropriate given the, um, the patent. So this is what it looks like. So you can see how the silk is a variegated silk and it's kind of like a dark, it's kind of hard to tell it's dark gray. Um, and then light, some light, I mean, dark gray, light, uh, dark green into light green, sorry. All right, so that came out really cute. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I am going to start um, doing some finishes. I can't remember what Carol, I just watched Carolyn's video this uh, yesterday and I can't remember what she called them. But everyone, if you've watched Carolyn's video, you know what I'm talking about. And I do need to work on that. Um, I have even have a sewing machine that I bought last fall that I have not used yet. I'm kind of, kind of a little scared. So I'm hoping that I can uh, figure it out and make some fun stuff with all these um, cross-stitch smalls that I'm finishing up. So we'll see. We'll hopefully figure out something to do with that. Um, I had a little start. Um, I didn't get much done on it. But I started the Frosted Pumpkin, I'm going to Frosted Pumpkin Citry kick here, um, Tea Time. So not much done on that at all. Um, I'm stitching this on 28 Count Lugana Frozen Fractals by uh, Hand Dyed Fabric by Stephanie. It was her December fra uh, Fabric of the Month. So, um, so pretty. Her fabrics are be so beautiful. Um, so that's that. I'd like to finish it for my mom for Mother's Day because she's a big tea drinker. So hopefully I'll be able to work on that. For those that don't know what it looks like, let me show you here. I have a picture on my iPad. So it's kind of hard to see the colors in that, but I'm sure most of you have seen it. It's pinks and uh, some teals and so pretty, pretty colors. I also stitched on another Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery, my Storytime Sampler. And if you'll remember from my last video, I said that I was not, I loved the the pattern, but I wasn't really enjoying stitching on it. I didn't know if it was the 32 count fabric. I didn't know if it was because the fabric was dark or if it was these frames that like are so delicate that just kind of a pain to stitch. So I was kind of disappointed. And so, you know, I said, all right, Randy, you got to figure this out because it's beautiful and you want to finish it. And so I took the patent and I realized that it was too small the way that it prints out. And that's why I was having such a hard time, especially stitching the frames, because I was miscount very easily. So I uploaded it to my iPad because I use uh, PDF Foxit, which is a free app for those who are kind of on the fence, not sure if they would like a PDF, do their um, their patents, you know, have their working patent on their iPad or their Kindle or their tablet. Um, so I use Foxit PDF, which is free, like I said, and I love it. 
and I blew it up and oh my god this is so much easier to stitch I was so happy so um I actually don't know what I had done the last time I showed this so I'll just show the whole thing and I've got the first two blocks done it's kind of hard to see oh yeah I can see it so Alice in Wonderland and the Secret Garden so um for Alice in Wonderland I didn't make any changes I changed the color of her dress and I used the same color blue that um, Coffee Stitcher used um, because I just thought it would show up better on his fabric. And I used a Petite Treasure Gold on the clock or the, yeah, the, the pocket watch, I guess it is. I also used the same gold on the um, key for the Secret Garden. I didn't make any other changes though. So, um, my goal for this month is to do Sherlock Holmes, which is the third one, and then the fourth one just came out, and it was The Wizard of Oz. Everyone was super excited. Um, so a lot of people already have it done. I'm like, oh my god, you stitched so fast. Um, so, yeah, so I'm hoping to get that caught up on that. So I was really excited, um, that I enjoyed stitching on it this month. So, very happy with that. Um, I also worked on my, on, um, Elizabeth, my Mirabilia. So here she is, and you guys will know, remember from my last video, if you watched it, I showed you how massive she is. Uh, her The pattern is just incredibly large. So here's what I did. All right, I am parking, so let me just straighten these threads out a little bit for you guys. And here she is. So I'm still in the middle of her dress, so you can kind of work out her bow here like the last time. And I stitched over here, and this is the part of the chair that she's leaning on. So I made it all the way over to the end. And then I also worked on a little bit on this side. So, so slowly but surely, she's coming along. It's going to take me a while, but I'm in no rush because this is for me. Um, so I'm in not a huge rush to finish her, but she's coming along. <clears throat> And I also had another start um, this month. Now, I know everybody's familiar with the Disney Dream um, Thomas Kincaid collections. And I actually own the Cinderella one, which I started years ago when it first came out. Uh, I think it was like 2009. Um, and I just kind of stopped and I, I don't know, haven't picked it back up. I also purchased Beauty and the Beast and Sleeping Beauty because I got really good deals on them on eBay. And I also have the um, Disney, the Mickey Mouse Fantasia, the small 5x7 one. Now, Little Mermaid is probably my favorite Disney movie. I can watch it anytime. I can recite it. It's it's bad. So I love The Little Mermaid. And I've been eyeing the Thomas Kincaid Disney Dream Little Mermaid kit for a very long time. And I just haven't been able to get a good deal on it. You know, I'm always about getting a good deal. So last week, I got the 60% off coupon at Joann's. And that, you know, as we all know, is a very good deal. So... I said, well, you know what, I'm going to go to Joann's because they've had it in the past. And if they still have it, I'm going to buy it with my 60% off coupon. And I did. So here it is. Everyone's very familiar with it. And I started it, and this is what I have done so far. This is on 18 count um, ivory. It just came with the kit. And let's we'll see. That is what I got done kind of hard to see with the threads in the way but this talk about confetti in some of these 10 by 10 squares there are like 12 different colors it's insane so yeah it's a little it's a little slow but that's a week's worth of work that's what I did in a little under a week I did it from Sunday to Saturday so in what part it is because I started in the middle because I just find that easier it is right above flounder's head and it's going this way towards King Triton. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down and over and then come up and over. So that's my that's my plan. So and I did watch Crafty Kara's uh, Kidding Out video on how she gets started because she finished the Snow White one. And uh, I believe she was going to start Pinocchio this month. So um, I took her, one of her tips or her advice was to... Um, take the floss and put them in, in uh, floss away bags or snack bags. So what I did was look, what she said is I made a copy of the, um, the key and I cut them. Let's see if I can get a good example. This is a good one. 
and I cut them and I put them in snack bags and you'll see it has the number because it comes in um you know they come in on cards so there's three three groups so you have like card one and it tells you what hole um, the color how many lengths you have what the color is and the cross stitch symbol um, and the French knot symbol and the back stitch sim uh, color symbol and it was three bundles like this and what I did was I kept them in bundles and I put these on rings so this one you'll see that number one is white, right? So block white is this first block here, card one. So I find the symbol on the chart, and if it's like this, you know, up arrow here, which is the second one, it's a medium dark yellow, I know that it's in this bundle, and it will be the second bag. I don't know if that will work for everybody, but it's working for me. It's keeping me organized. It's keeping me not getting confused, not taking me a million years to find the color that I need. And then I take it out. I use the loop method and I put the rest back in the bag and I don't waste any floss that way. So that's what's been working for me. And I have these in three bundles. There are blending threads where you use one of one color and one of the other. So when I have one of those come up, what I do is I even have a baggie for those. And what I'll usually do is make two lengths because you can't um, use the loop method because it's two separate colors. So I cut, you know, I cut it in half and then I put the second piece in its own bag. And that way the next time this blending one comes up, I already have it already set to go. So I haven't come done all of the blending ones yet, but they're, um, there are bags there. So that is that. So that's what I'm doing so far. So we'll see how it goes. But any people, anybody that has finished these Disney dreams, I mean, amazing because they are so, so many colors. Like I don't even, I don't even, Oh, sorry. <laughs> I don't even know if you change colors this often in a heaven and earth design. Um, it could just be the part of the chart I'm on too. So we'll see how it goes as I get more done. So and the last project that I've been working on, and um, the one that I'm currently working on for the first week of April, is my Stitchrovia patent that was the, um, let me see if I can find it here. Um, and it's the... Um, Dance like no one's watching, sing like no one's listening, L love, live with no excuses, love with all your heart, laugh until you ache, never stop dreaming. And this is what I have done so far. And there's some stitching on 18 count ivory. So I am loving this. I cannot wait until I finish it. Um, I love the colors. They're so bright. Um... I just, I don't know. I just, I love working on this. Um, so yeah, so that's what I'm working on this week. So my goal for what I would really like to finish for my goal for April on this pattern will, would be the Until You Ache pot, which I'm almost done. I'll probably finish it tonight right here, this little block. And then I would like to finish this Never Stop. And it doesn't look like much, but it's actually 126 stitches across. Um, so it's a, it'll be a little time consuming. So if I can finish that, um, I'll be happy. I am a little worried about the border. I tend to get bored with borders, especially um, patterns with borders this big. So I'm a little nervous about that, but I'm hoping doing these videos um, will keep me motivated to get it done so I can show it to you guys when it's all finished. So, so those are my whips for March. So I did get a lot of stitching done this month. I was actually quite happy with my stitching. Um, I do have a haul, um, so if you don't like hauls, you can uh, turn off now. Hopefully everybody likes hauls. Um, I know I do. I love when people do hauls. So hopefully everyone will uh, stick around. But if you don't, that's okay, too. And thanks for watching if you just wanted to see my whips. Um, so let's start with fabric. Um, as I have some patterns, I have fabric, and I have some thread floss. 
All right, so let's show you my first fabric, which I got today. It was my fabric of the month from um, hand-dyed fabrics from by Stephanie, and this is Tint Angel, or Eagle, T-I-N-T-A-G-E-L. Um, it's Lugana, 28 count, 13 by 18. And I think Tara showed this in her video uh, yesterday. It's beautiful. I don't know, it doesn't really do it justice. It's kind of like a... It's like a purpley color, like a grayish purple. I don't know. I don't know how you describe it. Here, let's see if I put this on. This is my alt light. Let's see if I, if I turn that on. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. Yeah, there we go. That's better. I don't know what I'm going to stitch on this, but I can't wait to stitch something on it because her fabrics are just absolutely beautiful. So that's my fabric of the month. And Mo, who you know I buy a lot of variegated threads, hand-dyed threads from Mo. She was having a sale on her website. Sorry, this isn't my way. Um, for 30% off everything on her website. And I've never tried Mo's fabric before, so I thought, well, that would be fun to try her fabric. Um, so I bought two. I bought, and hers fabric comes in. They're big, her fabrics are. This one, this one is 16 and a half by 30. I think this one might be 20 by 30, but I'm not sure because I lost the tag. But this one's 18 count, and it's like a purpley, light purple. Um, yeah. See how big it is? I mean, she gives you such a good deal. So this is 18 count, which I've never had stitched on here, Ada, before. I've only stitched on hand I'd even weave so I'm kind of excited about that um and I also bought a piece of 28 count Monaco which I love Monaco um I love because it's heavy it's thick I don't know why I just really like stitching on it and this is kind of like a light blue and white almost like the sky so I'm excited to use these All right, and I also bought, um, I also love um, Charles Craft Monaco, and I bought this one. It's uh, glass blue, 20 by 24, and it's this bluish, it's almost like a gray blue, but it's, I don't know, blue. It's not really showing up, but. And I bought this fabric because I got a patent that I am super excited about. And um, Jennifer um, is also stitching it. She just got it. I just remembered one more thing I want to show you guys. Hold on one second. Sorry about that. Um, that she's stitching on. And it's the Mary Poppins. Practically Perfect in Every Way by Lily Violet. Sorry, make sure I wasn't showing the pattern. How cute is that? So Jennifer started this last month, and I'd been, I saw this, and it was on back order, and I got this from um, Stitching Bits and Bobs, um, who's a website um, out of the States. And I had to wait of like an extra week to get it. But other than that, it was super fast that their stuff came. So I was really excited. I cannot wait to stitch on this. And I think I'm going to use this blue fabric um, for it. So super excited. But the reason that I got up to grab something is because I did something similar to what Jennifer and Jessie Marie Does Stuff did. And I got some Anchor Black because everyone's raved about how great the coverage is. And so when I went to my... Uh, needlework store, Yankee Cross Stitch. Um, I checked to see if she, she sells anchor, but I, so I checked to see if she had white, I mean black, and I bought all her black. <laughs> I bought 10. So here they are. And I paid 50 cents each for them. I don't know if that's a good deal. Um, I pay between 39 and 42 cents for DMC. So 50 cents for um, uh, floss that you don't usually find around here, I thought was pretty good, pretty good deal. So so that's what I got. So I got um, 10 of these. So I'm going to use 
uh, one to stitch that up with probably two it might take I'm not really sure um, and then there was something else that I thought of also to use this I can't remember what it was hmm it'll come to me but anyways so <laughs> so I bought some anchor black so I'm excited to try that um, this is the other pattern that I bought this is the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery first pen pal that was only released at the Nashville trade show. So how cute is that? So I'm excited to stitch that one up. These are all, they're all really cute. Um, I also have some Lizzie, Lizzie Kate patterns. I've got this one here. Cherish, Yesterday, Dream Tomorrow, Live Today. I love these. I can't wait to stitch um, these up. I have a whole bunch that I want to stitch up. And I also bought the Three Little Word um, series that Caroline also showed in her video. Um, so I'll just show them again really quick. So be kind always and be kind always. Enjoy every moment. Uh, forgive, move on, think happy thoughts. And you've got this Be You Bravely. And I'm doing the same thing that Caroline is doing. I'm stitching them all together as they come out. And then on her on Lizzie Kate's website, and I'm not sure, sure if Caroline knows this, but usually they post the pa the border for free on their website. I've seen that with other ones in the past that they've put out this way. Um, so I'll have to check to see if the um, the border is on their website. And I also have the fabric picked out for this because if you stitch it all together, it's uh, 95 by 388, which is a really big piece of fabric. And that can get expensive if you want to use like a special fabric, or even if you want to use even weave that size, it can get expensive. So what I did was I purchased a piece of Charles Craft 18 count oatmeal Ada, which comes with those big tube ones. And this thing is humongous. Look at this. <laughs> I can't even show the whole thing. It's massive. Um, so plenty big enough for this pattern, and I thought that the oatmeal would look nice, and I really like stitching on 18 count Ada, so, um, so I'm going to stitch them on that. All right, so that are, that is all of my um, patterns. So really quick, I'm just going to show you my thread. Um, I got my monthly threads from jo uh, Michelle at Jodry Designs, and I'm going to show them to you guys. Uh, cause I didn't, I don't know if anybody showed them yet. So I like seeing people, I like when people show the, the flaw. So hopefully you guys do too. And, um, you'll enjoy me showing it to you. <laughs> so these are the five. So I get the five plus the limited edition. So here's the limited edition for March. This was called Bill and Ben. Oh, showing up. Nice. So it's greens and browns and yellows and really cool. Um, Wicked Witch of the West. Whoops. Try it that way. Mm, it's not showing up that good. That's a little bit better. Um, this is Gnome King. There we go. And Titan's palette. Lots of pretty oranges. Uh, Yellow Brick Road. And Lion's Courage. All right, so that is the ones from Michelle. I also ordered um, the new cotton from Moe's. I also ordered some of her re-dyes, but I, I won't show those to you guys because you've probably seen them. But this was her, she did a um, a bird theme for her new floss for the month. Um, so here's Macaw. Oops, <laughs> it would be helpful if you could see it. Beautiful. These are just absolutely beautiful. Peacock. I don't know, that one's not showing up as good, but it's really pretty blue. Uh, this is Kingfisher. Um, Western Bluebird. This one is so pretty too. 
parrot. Oh my god, it showed up so good. Hoot. Um, this was a varied bunting. Blue Jay. Oh, that one's not showing up that good, but it's like a teal color. And tan, tan ager. Oh, so pretty. And this one's Mr. Mo. I guess when she was dyeing these, he walked by and said that he really liked this one and that she should name it after him. So she did. So, Mr. Mo. So perfect. All right, that is it. That is all I have for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed my video. I know I enjoy everybody's videos, so um, I love when I open up my subscription and there's new videos, especially this time of the month because everyone's doing their updates. So um, yeah, so that is all that I have for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, um, I hope you guys have a great April. Uh, if you celebrate Easter, have a happy Easter, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.